Rojo. Did you try and work last night? I don't think that that was Gus. Hey y'all and welcome back to Cajun Country Living. This week we're going to be continuing on installing some of our soffit and we're going to get started cutting out some of the cement fiber fascia boards. And it is so sunny out today but we can't complain because at least we're not having any rain. <laughs> That's right. You can buy these cement fiber fascia boards or fiber cement. I don't know why I keep <laughs> saying that backwards. Fiber cement fascia boards at like Home Depot or Lowe's or one of those places but they're expensive like everything else. And we have a lot of this scrap material left and we have three sheets that are a full 10 foot. So we're gonna be able to uh, sacrifice yeah. these long sheets to turn them into trim, save some money, plus we won't be wasting so much material. And we added it up and we should probably get almost the whole house out of these three 10 sheets. And that's without us making a mistake. So we'll see if we can or not. Well, I can't promise that part. <laughs> but we're gonna put in a valued effort today. Rojo. Y'all pardon us, Lewis and Rojo have been at it this morning. Just crowing back and forth. <laughs> anyway, we're happy that y'all are back this week and we're gonna get busy. All right, well, we're gonna show y'all the process of getting this fascia put up there, how to measure it, how we're gonna measure it anyway, and go from there. Yes, I'm quite certain that none of this stuff is gonna be like a professional would do it, but hey, that's, well, that's our way. the way we're going to do it. <laughs> so Jim said that he's measuring it up there and seven inches is about perfect. So even if we were to buy those eight inch pieces, we'd still have to cut them off. So even better, maybe we'll get another sheet or another trim piece out of those 10 foot sheets. That'd be good. Right? That'd be solid right there. <laughs> our gutters is going to mask the top of this anyway. We have a few places that it's going to be close, you know, because this this sub fascia board isn't perfect it's a 70 foot run so it has a little bit of a wave to it so you'd be able to see you know maybe an eighth of an inch difference or so in that board if you looked back underneath it which i don't know why anybody would be looking back there anyway so we're going to install the first board make sure it falls out exactly like we want it and we're going to level it going all the way down we're going to make sure that it's level straight perfect line so any waiver that would be in this sub fascia board is going to should make it have the appearance of falling out perfect. We are gonna cut all three sheets at the same time because our saw blade can cut all three sheets. So why not go ahead and get more for bigger bang for our buck, isn't that the term? I didn't hear you, but I'm sure that's right. <laughs> we went ahead and cut the first one that way we'd have a template to use but we just use a piece of scrap to be able to cut the first ones so we're using this factory edge in its full length so what we're doing is clamping both ends but we want a seven inch board it is an inch and a half inset to the circular saw blade so what we're doing here is measuring off a total of eight and a half inches Clamping it down, ripping it. Perfect seven inch board every time. Are you getting hot yet? I love it. <laughs> I'm definitely hot, I'm sweating. So whenever Jim used the word inset earlier, in case you don't know all the specific terminology like I've had to learn, that means that Right there, where it shows where you're gonna cut it. Thank you. Vanna White. Stints that the saw blade needs to be able to butt up against something to be able to cut is an inch and a half. So you add that distance to whatever you're cutting and you'll be ready to go. You do have that fiber cement blade on there, huh? Yeah. Okay, I see it now.
All right, and just like store-bought, look at that factory handmade DIY edge going on. Just like store-bought, only cheaper. <laughs> That's what everybody wants. Store-bought, but cheaper. We ended up with about 18 of these fiber cement fascia boards out of this. If we would have bought those in the store, we would still have to trim an inch off. And they're about 20 bucks a piece. So 18 times 20 or use our scrap. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> so we could go ahead and put these straight up there, but we're gonna go ahead and get the first few coats of paint on them. Paint on them. That way we don't have to try and paint them whenever they're up there. And you realize before long, we're gonna be painting the house. I cannot wait. I can't wait to get all this trim up here and all these batten strips on these seams just to see what it's going to look like. And the soffit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we still got to put soffit on this side too. But that didn't take us very long on the other side. So we'll get that knocked out and add that to the list this week. Yeah, hopefully the soffit fairy comes in the middle of the night. We won't even have to do it. Or at six in the morning, <laughs> yeah. whenever you're That's done right. going for work. Come on, Cal, it's time to put on soffit. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for people who are curious and creative that want to learn a new skill. They have thousands of classes to choose from. Skillshare brings together teachers from all over the world onto one platform so you can explore and learn new things. Skillshare offers classes in illustration, design, photography, freelancing, and many more. With so much going on in our lives, between building our home, being parents, putting in as much work as we can, and still trying to enjoy the little things in life, we can get very overwhelmed very quickly. Luckily, we have found the video on Skillshare called Designing the Life That You Want, Four Exercises for Clarity and Motivation by Michelle B. In this video, Michelle provides tons of examples, inspiration, and step-by-step -step guidance so that she is with you the whole way. This is knowledge that we can use on a regular basis to help bring clarity and motivation into our own lives every day. Skillshare wants to inspire and multiply the mind of creative exploration that furthers expression, learning, and application. The first 1,000 people to use our link or use our code Cajun Country Living will get a free one-month trial of Skillshare. Try it now and you'll never know what you will discover. Thank you, Skillshare. So my goal today is to move all these fascia boards over here, get them prepped, get them cleaned up, get them ready to go, and get some a uh, few coats of paint sprayed on them. So now all the boards are laid out where I'm gonna be painting them at. I need to go through and make sure there's no rough edges along the lines and just kind of sand those spots off. Then I'll be ready to paint. So all I'm doing is taking off this rough edge right here. As you can see, this one's actually a factory edge and you can see the difference of how this one looks a lot cleaner. 
and this one does not. So I'm just taking a little piece of sandpaper and I'm just running it right along the edges there, wipe it off, and just like store-bought. I just stepped into the shed for a second to get out of that sun because oh my gosh it is so hot you can tell i'm so sweaty already and i have been out here for probably 15 minutes all right got my sprayer gonna get it hooked up and get it ready to go life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high All right, so on the second go, I did decide to use a paint roller. It was actually working a lot better for me. So um, I'm just going to keep on with this and hopefully it only takes one more coat. Okay, so everything is painted white. It is ready to go. All it's gotta do is sit for a little bit and then we'll be ready to put it up tonight whenever Jim gets in. Inspector's on the job today. Sitting down on the job, huh? Well, my painting got approved, so I guess it's time to finally start putting them up. It's time to put some lipstick on this pig. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready. Are y'all ready? I am ready. I want to see what some kind of finished surface looks like on this thing. Yes. You got them all painted? We can stick them up there, put the level on them, and start throwing some nails in it, see how it turns out. Hopefully, hopefully, we won't break any pieces or any of that kind of business. Not that I, somebody already did that. I probably shouldn't say anything because we're probably going to jinx ourselves. <laughs> All right, well, let's get it. All right, honest opinion. I need you to come back here and look at it and see what you think. I think that it looks great. Like it? I love it. Well, good. I absolutely do. You know, it's amazing when you start doing the finish work, the little bitty things that you can see that you didn't do just perfectly. <laughs> but all in all, it's good. Thank you. 
All we need is this little piece right here. So, you gonna run and cut that for me? I'll take care of it right now. Okay. So this evening we are going to start on this other long side so we can get it done. But this is what that soffit ended up looking like. So obviously there's the piece. We did not finish this corner. You want to tell them why? We have a squatter. We do. We actually now have like six squatters. Six squatters. A bird laid a nest right inside this wall and we really didn't want to have to close it off. <laughs> yeah, we have to leave it open so the mom can get in and out to take care of the babies. And then when they're gone, then we'll close it up. But it's the only way for her to get in and out. And she actually just had her babies today. We've been watching and watching and watching and videoing a little bit here and there, but we just wanted to make sure that everybody was gonna be a survivor before showing y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll show y'all a little clip of them and then we'll get to rolling. What are we gonna get rolling doing? We are going to install fascia boards. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yep. In this heat. It's getting pretty warm now. It's just right. We're gonna to try to knock out this other long side before we start on these gabled ends because honestly, it just goes a lot faster than these gabled yeah, ends. Does. When the sun's going down, no stars in the sky. I'm head down. Almost halfway. So, in my infinite wisdom, we parked this RV here and then built a house too close to it. So, like she said, we can't put the nail gun in past the RV. So we're gonna come about right here. We wanna stop this piece and shoot a nail in it. Then we're gonna slide the next piece in and shoot a nail in each end. And then whenever we move the RV, we can finish nailing it out. And I know, why don't you just move the RV? why don't you just do that and then you won't have to worry about that well it's not that simple <laughs> but we do have a plan and we are going to make a video on moving this rv and it is going to blow your mind if y'all have any guesses of how we're going to do it leave it in the comments below are you familiar with helium 
and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Up? Because <laughs> it ain't going to look like that. <laughs> Well, <sighs> from the catbird seat, it looks good. It looks really good. The catbird seat. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why I say those little sayings like "from the catbird seat." This hard as woodpecker lips, or some of the other things that I say. <laughs> I don't I know, don't, but I love it. I don't know why I say it, but I do. And here is the result. Well, thank y'all for joining us this week. We appreciate y'all uh, tuning in and watching us do our very best. This week's subscriber of the week is going to be Ray H. Thank you so much for always having such good positivity towards us and our build and just always all the support that you give us. So if y'all enjoy watching us week after week muddle through trying to get this house built and enjoy our content, hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel. We'd appreciate that. <laughs> All right, Cajun family. Well, from our family to yours, we hope that you have a great weekend, and we'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir.